Hello guys and welcome to the biggest TV show currently in Africa. It's trying to brought to you by Airtel. My name is Pascal. And my name is Kim Opera. Of course, this is your show for everything nice and everything trending. We're gonna go on a short break right now. When we return, the show, the show continues. continues. Stick around. Now, welcome back. It's still trending, brought to you by Airtel. Today, we're going to talk about what's trending. But before then, Kim, you're looking really beautiful, as always. Oh, my God, Maybe guys. Pasco is taking his style to another game. <laughs> like, anyways, I heard that when yeah. the Yoruba people wear your cap this way, it means that you're single. Yeah, well, I don't know that one. What I wear, yeah, what I wear, yeah. Don't ah, come. Yeah. But there's... Let's leave that for another time. <laughs> <laughs> Now, talking about what's trending, we have a lot of things trending. First, let's start with the landmark uh, demolition for Lagos Calabar Coastal Construction. Yes, and that's this the landmark being... bitch, by the way, because you know a lot of people are running helter skelter saying there's no longer a um, landmark hotel or the event center. All of that is still in place, but the landmark bitch itself is coming through down to Breeze Beach Club, up all the way to Truth Beach Club. It's been currently. On, demolished, on, yeah, demolished to create right way for the coastal uh calabar coastal road or highway construction yeah uh, okay it's a good thing because firstly for me the lagos that we're seeing right now yes. it's been mapped many years ago that's why i also I always say this if you want to build a house make sure you go to the town plan and to check out where you're building. okay the funny thing is the ceo of landmark when he came out to actually speak by the time he actually purchased that land mm -hmm. the planning for the calabar coastal highway had not been not put been in place, place. Uh, so that's where the issue came about like and for me right this is also due diligence not just on his side but also on the government side everybody mm -hmm. knew when the beach club was being you know made. when the beach club was being made when it was when it was under constructions up until the opening for the first two years it was only landmark beach before they started giving out like the space to space other, vendors other vendors and all of that to come in as of which point did the government not see the need to actually tell this guy stop you know let me tell you something government is like a beautiful woman that's really jealous so for example a beautiful mm -hmm. woman is in a relationship and of course a man is a, a ladies man mm -hmm. definitely if she sees other ladies trying to um come close to a man she'll try to cover it that mm -hmm. place is a very big place all right in terms of commerce for the Lagos state government and exactly. the, the fact is is it remains that the government can take over anything they want to take over any time all right yeah. because it is the land is for the government okay but so, so so the funny thing about this for me right is what the insinuation of this what are you telling people especially uh foreign bodies coming to invest in nigeria. in nigeria are you telling them that you can create a structure today and tomorrow your structure is gone especially if it is such a huge landmark for tourism yeah because that was a major landmark because that was the first thing aside this is coming from the age of bar beach yeah exactly yeah. after bar beach was gone this was the new beach resort that everyone and anybody from all walks of life had access to, to. Mm -hmm. aside Elisha, you know you have to go on a boat but this mm -hmm. one you just need mm -hmm. to drive there get drive there, there you get, pay yeah. a gate fee and you enter, enter you have access you have to whatever yeah. you want to do why would you take something such of such significance to people like it's like taking the hope of your people away well so i am not trying to support any any of the party maybe party party i'm just trying to mm -hmm. say now so for example now one thing that is really good about people buying properties in lagos is the fact that you must have a perfect certification of ownership that's yeah. okay this is what you this is this is um you purchase this and everything yeah. if you have that correctly everything is properly documented mm -hmm. you can actually sue for okay look you guys need to pay me compensation but in the terms of whether or which Lagos wants to use the land that they own that is under Lagos they yeah. can decide to take it at any time but there's going to be like a conversation with yeah, the so parties I'm not, involved. So I'm not saying that there is no compensation in place because obviously there has to be compensation exactly. in place uh -huh. but the issue here is the fact that such a tourism landmark has been destroyed and this is just months away from when the Bobogiri 2 was mm -hmm. also demolished because Bobogiri was also demolished as of some point you know recently they've literally floored it one section of it anyways now I think they're doing the things outside at what point do we say enough is enough because yes in as much as I know that we need certain structures or certain things you know in place we also need certain 
things like things that promote tourism and lagos largely is known as the tourism state it is of nigeria it is. so it if is. you're taking away such landmarks like this what are you telling people that are coming to lagos what are you telling the people that cannot afford to go to other beaches aside landmark beach yeah do you understand it's quite sad to see and there's also a conversation of the the sand feeling that is going on over there causing more um, erosion, erosion and more floods yeah because this same planning you're talking about about the coastal highway road you have don't even have proper drainage or proper channeling systems for this water that you're feeling yeah, to, you're go to go from. away from so what exactly are you doing and the, the, the rush at which they are doing this is also mind-boggling and it calls the question to be uh, i'm starting to sound like a no, broadcaster no, 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 but, but, if, <laughs> but you are a broadcaster but you are a broadcaster you are a broadcaster kid oh my and goodness. i feel like you're doing you're, you're doing it so well or oh, the point i'm still standing on here is the fact that look man it may be as a tourist center initially for Lagosians and Lagos. But there comes a time whereby mm. the government may just want to use something, all right? They definitely, we just say, okay, look, this place we're using it, but they'll, they will make another place available for the people to go which place and that's the question now so what place are question, made available? Place is available there's no they didn't even bother moving or saying oh we give you a certain time to evacuate, to evacuate this place just they literally day. just destroyed breeze beach club has literally only been in existence for less than a year less than a year Sure and that was that our little miami that was just we always, always go, yeah. and now it's gone in less than a year so what happens to that person? No matter the kind of compensation you want to give them, let, let's be frank with ourselves, it's government at the end of the day. It is. Like it how is. much compensation? You can't even fight government. You can't because first of things course, first, so you can't fight government. It's only compensation so we you don't can even get. know because we're not even hearing anything about the compensation. Because if possible, I would the way he came out to say, oh, they're trying to, you know, bring it down. We want to know like what compensation was given for this to happen i think like the the best thing we can actually do is mm -hmm. we can't we, because we don't have the death of the yeah. fact that mm -hmm. going in between or the haggle yeah going, or the haggling going on but between it's, it's the Lagos state sad. government and the um the owners of uh, the owners of the former landmark okay mm -hmm, let's put it mm -hmm. that way you understand mm -hmm. so they may be able to come to a, a consensus of yeah, how, uh, how bad all the parties will be mm -hmm. involved because it's a private organization one thing private mm -hmm. organization actually focuses on first mm -hmm. is profit okay so profit is money money mm -hmm. is profit so in the end so, so they might have actually just mm -hmm. compensated them okay look we're going to give you something else here something else there when the issue of in magodo happened and people started talking about the land that magodo was um it was owned by some particular families magodo was owned by some particular families initially yes magodo was owned by a particular family but when the military government came in into power um later on okay the, every, if a military government comes into power now everything is nullified all right, nobody owns any land. They can decide to take any land at any time. And that's what happened that time that they started building the secretariat. So do you want to collect the land? It's the, it's the yeah, land. So, so but only thing that you can actually mm -hmm. do is compensation. You just compensate them. And, and yeah. truly, truly, Lagos, they, they compensated them and give them another land somewhere else. Yeah, so, so I, just, I just really so hope... So it's not like for you to take it mm -hmm. or not. I just, I just really hope that... Because I, I speak as a traveler and a tourist at heart. Mm -hmm. This is something that I do. And these are reasons why people come or travel to certain countries. And we're already lacking. We are, we are many, we're light years behind when it comes to tourism. We are. We absolutely. are light You're years correct. behind, you know. So You're having such a monumental figure construction. or construction, you know, destroyed like that, without even saying, okay, we're moving it to so -so location and try and actually salvage some things from that. It was literally destroyed. But me, like, you see the, owners, uh -huh. uh, the owner of Truth Beach now is like putting up his jet skis and boats for sale uh, and stuff like that. That's not telling you we're moving somewhere else. That's yeah, telling you like business else. is done. It's, it's, on the other hand, what do we see about this um, Calabar coastal construction that they're making? You see? Honestly, I don't even, when I hear coastal, I thought it was in the water, like boats or things. Uh, initially that's what i thought maybe you want to make your waterway work because obviously all my water like it's connected but like the fact that you're not and feeling and wanting to do like a bridge or like a major road or something like on the roads that we have they've not finished working on it so they've not finished working on like it. look at how long said like like bridge took for them to to uh, to do renovation renovation but i feel like it was fast though let's be sincere 30 million the renovation for the 30 million bridge 
in 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 it the Africa what? that we are, it was a bit fast. Let's in put it that Africa, way. That's not even in like the Africa that we are. For you even saying that, that's already a flaw. For what we know, all right, no. is a road that's really pliable. Mm -hmm. People ply that road every other exactly. time. You understand? So the time they use, I think they really they, because they, they wait, morning, they waited night, for it to night. be worn out. That is why it took that long. Exactly. It was worn out. The bridge was shaking. That's why it took that long. It should have never gotten to that point. So what's the guarantee that this road and after that a lot of accidents were happening so now what is the guarantee that this one will not lead to more accidents and will not lead to anyways let's leave it as that i don't want to i don't want to 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 tune into my political side right it's now it's okay because let's, I feel let's like just leave it okay. yeah i'm already <laughs> going there i'm already going there it is, but let's, let's, let's leave it on a light note let's take away let's take it from landmark yeah and check out the landmark we're already seeing online right now mm -hmm. there's a big landmark people are seeing for the past couple of days now uh, for a couple of days now we've been seeing back to back higi haga between the legends of the view and the cats jesus right, is the king. old cats jesus, jesus, jesus is, is king. king jesus is king jesus is king <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the fight it started. Davido whiskeyed Don Jazzy. Is Don Jazzy in the mix though? Don Jazzy whiskey dragged Don Jazzy. Yeah, but and he, he, Ladipo, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't get into the mix. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't, no, he didn't, he didn't get into the mix. But he dragged, so. the name was dragged. His name was dragged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you dragged. say between whiskey Davido and and Don Jazzy, mm -hmm. it seems like he was. Part it was no, 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 no it, well, but so he tried to really mature yeah. out of it because, of course, he didn't. Mm -hmm. he did, he didn't I, I love anything. the way he did about. He, yeah, he went I love the about way he kept quiet. It was really fantastic. But. Yeah, so it happened, and this particular uh, conversation happened. It's still yeah, the, it's still in conversation. It's still in the conversation right now. Honestly, <clears throat> I think it was a bad joke gone wrong. I think it was a very bad <laughs> joke. You know that this type of there are jokes that you make, and then every the whole room goes quiet. Exactly. I think that's what happened. <laughs> It was a bad joke so, that went wrong. So in case you didn't get it, so actually I think it started from where, where I started getting the gist is yeah. from Ladipo. Yeah. All right, so Ladipo said something. This is where Don Jazzy was dragged in. Ladipo yeah. said something. It's like when Whiskey talked about rap is dead. He said some artists talking about rap is dead. I hope that the artist that I, I can't quote him verbatim, but this is this was what I understood by what he was saying. That um, there was a particular era that they talked about rap is dead. I hope that the artist that said the artist. Uh, that said rap is dead are also going through their own face right now i think whiskey was just in, in his moment all right because before now is that you've what seen happened it. yes yes that was where he dragged uh, don jazzy into into it mm -hmm. that's where he dragged don jazzy into it so he was like he said something like in in, in he called don jazzy an influencer yeah he said that he doesn't talk to people that are assigned to influencers exactly or something like that exactly yeah. and that's where the thing started so everybody started coming for him coming for him coming for him before you know what happened i don't know what happened still that same day yeah. he just he just put uh, no 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 so what so 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 <laughs> so after that everyone started coming for him right and they were like whiskey dropped music, Drop music. And he was yes like, <laughs> and then he was like i will only drop if you beg, you beg me, me like, like this. this and then he he put up a clip our seasoned cut, you know. Oh, big me. I'm I big me. I can't even say it. He says, I'm big me. All right. Yeah. I'm yeah. Me. I can't even say that. Say say the clip that he, but he put up that clip. Though. No, but it's the clip. Everybody knows the yeah, clip. Yeah, but the clip. Yeah, you know the clip. So yeah. I'm, I, I'm not even going to dignify it by saying what it is. But he put up the clip and say, that's what the fan has to do. Beg me like this. So you know, for clip, him to drop music. Can I, can I talk about the clip? Yeah. Of, okay, so of like course, in, the clip, in the clip, in the clip, Davido was saying kneeling down, all right, kneel, kneeling down. When you kneel, you don't kneel. when you say kneeling down, Only. it's tautology. Only. Kneeling down is tautology, huh? Kneeling down. So he was saying kneeling, all Only. right, kneeling. Only. It was not, it was, no, it was not, it was, it was saying genuflecting. Only. It was seen genuflecting and begging. If you also describe something, describe, describe me describe well. Describe me so well. It was crying. Mm -hmm. It was crying. And uh, what the words, it was not really, we're not really clear. I don't know what it was crying for. Yeah. Yeah. But it was crying for something really important to him. Like, like it was so. really pleading. So, uh, and it was. The so, way to, so to me, that is where I say the bad, it was a bad, bad joke. joke. That was no. a, a bad joke because obviously like he was trying to say, a, you have to beg me. Me like this, beg but, me. But that clip but song. is. That clip is, is too, too, uh, it's too sensitive. It's too sensitive. Yeah, too bad. Too, it's not too, too sensitive. You not know, too this thing now. Come on. It's too it sensitive. Too, too sensitive. So that's why I said that it was a bad joke that went wrong because. So, <laughs> so afterwards, <laughs> afterwards, people <laughs> started on Twitter. That that night was crazy. All right, it was a cookie. Was a cookie so, one. So people <laughs> actually started dropping videos was, like that, yes. begging. And that's some fans that mm, drop videos like so that begging. David Owe now replied him. I think the conversation. Everyone was. Praying 
yeah that david will, will, will not respond will not respond and it will not. just die a natural death the yes, conversation will exactly. die a natural death but david replied but unfortunately him, yeah you know Obio gotta be Obio. Obio gotta be Obio. <laughs> so he replied. He replied. Ah, that was. And th the night was. That a long, was. If you ever seen Game of Thrones, you remember long night. <laughs> the night was a long night. Entry into next morning. There's a particular part that Whiskey was alone with the Tata BG. Was he was alone? Like yes, because everyone them. came out. Cabana Chief Prince. Yeah. Uh, Peruzzi, yeah. uh, even Polo, Mr. Polo, yeah, Polo, uh, yeah, yeah, but that, but that was like yeah, in general, mm -hmm. that was like a general conversation. Yeah, yeah. But like all the Tetsi BG people came, came out, out and were like coming to whiskey. Uh. And Peruzzi, uh, the, the one that Peruzzi tweeted that really made me laugh was. <laughs> Swear you know beg me for my dear. Exactly, like we swear, beg people. Swear, is, swear you know want me on my is, or something like that. You know, it was like I'm like, yeah. okay, because it, apparently because he was saying he was using yeah. that went until he could. No, no. Whiskey was talking to David Doe. And also talking that about until Percy. he could write a song by himself, not his it's toilet. Pant, no, no, pant, pant washer. washer. Pant washer. Uh, that means Percy washed pants watch, before. Uh, I think it was just like it was figuratively that like he figuratively, meant like yeah, figuratively. Are you sure? Though. I think it was figuratively Figurate like you know when someone says like you're a it's like follow follow. I think it's almost mm -hmm. like saying like son is follow follow. So David also of. called the whiskey the beggy beggy. Yes, uh, I was begging him for, for, tour. for tour. Then fans went to dig up the a video, video of his Ibuka, interview yeah. with Ebuka on Bounce, and then it was like oh you know he has been calling for a tour that is that him his, yeah, exactly. his piece that is whiskey that doesn't work it was just a whole lot of brouhaha but it got it got serious in one moment though mm. when david o had to mention a uh, woman beater oh he did yeah he went there he said oh size seven foot locker you know he just started throwing like jobs like serious mm. <laughs> Below the belt, um, below the belt whiskey. stuff, you know. Yeah, they, were, they were on a particular street bag. Yeah, it was call. mostly, yeah, it was. Ah, it was not going deep. Yeah, he went, he, gone to a sword fight. Yeah, straight. yeah, yeah. But man, I think he was just, he just wanted to, yeah. I, I, I could understand the video. Or yeah, he, he just wanted pissed. to come back at any. Yeah, he was pissed. Attorney. He was very pissed Of course, as well. he was pissed. Yes, exactly. So, you he know? was also, because of course, man, this artist, both of them are one of the, two biggest artists that we have yeah. all right in nigeria currently mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. which was burnable actually part of them but mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the, both of just them just seeing that was just really messy and yeah, the shade room now picked up on it and then and then david went into the comment section of the shade room i was saying the stupid guy this one this one this one that one mm. it was just a but there were a lot of people that were FC saying so were many saying things a lot of things so. no but his personal camp no no no, no but as, compa nobody as compared to like you know 30 bg it's so crazy like i said there were so many spillovers you know we a had lot, so many people commenting even james brown did like a whole video about it his own was the funniest He's like, stop fighting, you know, stop fighting. But anyways, they don't block me tenny. years ago. So whatever. <laughs> Jesus is king. Jesus then is Tenny king. comes out too and he's like, female um, artist. Let's fight now. Let's beef now. Every time there's a male artist that are beefing. beefing. What's Let's going beef. on? Is it me? Like, no, for example, me and Arya start. I was like, oh, no. I'll go kill Arya start. <laughs> 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 then he said that she herself and Adekule goes wife that see me yeah like, don't worry there's someone who, then Dotun now commented on her page like Dotun the duty yeah. to him like don't worry I'll hold Adekule, Adekule goes leg so that you won't be able to be able to fight with Simi you see me alone exactly. yeah yeah no no but internationally like there's like there's like beef war going around too. Exactly. you know you so, had the Quavo and Kendrick and, Lamar, and Drake. Chris Brown I mean, it makes the industry interesting. That's mm. that's it happens. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's okay. And still, when we're still talking about this, then we had few scarcity. All right, it was few scarcity. We have. Then we we have, have. We have few scarcity. We are in all right, it. we currently still have few scarcity right now. Going on strong. They didn't want us at all. It came out of nowhere. What I heard, all right, is like What does that mean? They want to bring the price down to like four hundred. That's what I heard. I thought the whole point of mm, yeah. subsidy was making it more expensive. Yeah, but yeah, that's why they said they would remove. Yeah, but they're trying to like, it's gonna it's have to be. Come down. So for them to worry. bring the price down, there has to this fall has to be scarce first. So, but it doesn't no, scarcity or fall or fall increase in demand. God bless you. God bless you. But now it's not about them, Kim. It's about the market task. When you're enjoying the particular thing, mm -hmm. all right and it's time for you to go back to status quo, what you were doing before. It becomes a problem because firstly, you can't adjust. You don't really want to adjust because the money is already sweating you. Mm -hmm. You're buying, people are buying fuel for, in, in Lagos, they're buying fuel for like 605. 
all right, 605, 608, in Abuja, they are buying for like how much, 800 and something? You know, 700 and something in some mm -hmm. future station, 800 and something. You understand? So it's already you are enjoying that, um, that the proceeds, ride. You understand? Yeah. So you don't want to go back. And now you've made your, if that's what's happening, you've made all your money when you were enjoying that thing because you've made it. Everybody buys fuel every day. Oh, it's so tough. It is. Like, life is life in so hard right I, now. I won't lie to you. Like, I won't lie to you. It's almost like all of a sudden there's like this stagnancy in the air coupled with this heat and ugh. like we have to struggle with the like we're literally fighting for our lives in nigeria right now because uh -huh. you're fighting the weather, the weather. you're fighting government uh -huh. you're fighting your landlord you're God fighting you. the water corporation light you're fighting phcn uh -huh. because the tariff Nerd. just ran off it's like you're you're fighting to be alive recently was workers day so the tuc president and the nlc president actually had a meeting in abuja mm. whereby all the workers were were there in a community that they had and they're like they give them one week all right one week ultimatum to bring uh, the price of the tariff otherwise you know when when tuc and nlc are saying otherwise you know what is going to happen next are you people being serious yeah that's what they, they couldn't talk about that before it was wasn't there a release? Man. They had to, we had to suffer. Man. See, I beg, I beg, I beg. Onto the, on the next one. On to the next one. I should stress my life. <laughs> like, the way they just be doing things in this oh country. Oh my like, God. One minute, now you're saying that the force guys they want to reduce. One minute, they're taking it up. Next minute, like, it's like talk of war. Like, you're just being pulled in different directions. You don't even know. Is he ever going to come? And that's why the Naira is being pulled in different directions. It is. So because they can't even make laws and stick to it. No, it's where they won't. They can't stick to it long enough. There are, I think there are powers that be. We well, are, problem. I actually, so, I mean. I must say that. Um, so, the MVCA is around the corner. It is, on the 11th of May. Are you going? Of course, we should be there. You're going? Yes, I am going. Mm. You're going to, or not? What are you going to wear? Ah, man, my stylist is coming through real for me. Hey. First, uh, we have the over. upcoming AMVCA, mm. you know, the biggest movie choice awards mm. in Africa. Absolutely. And it's going to be one for the books, as always. It is. It is. You know, because we have a lot of, the lineup is tough. The lineup is tough. All right. Wow, the lineup is tough. I'm super excited, though, for all them categories. I'm excited yeah. for all the nominees. I'm not one of them, but it's okay. It's okay. You're going to get the next one. I'm very sure of that. You're doing so well, though. Meanwhile, Just Thank putting you. that out there. So when, when they see it next year, <laughs> when they reapply. <laughs> <laughs> when they reapply, you can... Uh -huh, uh -huh. You, know, you know what to do. <laughs> exactly. But it's a big, it's a big one, though. Yeah. It's happening on the 11th of May. I mean, so it's always amazing. You know, we have a lot of influx of, uh, of entertainers coming into the country it from is. all over the world, from Tanzania, from Ghana. South Africa. So South Africa. You know, I look forward to seeing all the amazing dress and the best. I, I can't wait to see who's going to win best dress this time around. Exactly. You know, we, we have one person that's always coming to take it. So let's see what she has in store for us this year, Nana. Yeah. Nana from Ghana. Well, okay. so that's it, man. But what's trending? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of things have been trending this week, and so that's the the bits and pieces of what's trending for you here on Trending, brought to you by Airtel. We're going to short break right now. When we return, Kim and I will still be on your set. Stick around. Do not go nowhere. Welcome back. You're still watching Trending, brought to you by Airtel, and I'm still currently in the studio. With my guy Pascal, you hear me? And we're about to <laughs> do our top five Calm best down. music videos mm -hmm. of late. All right, that's what we're doing. That's All what right. we're doing. In no particular order. For me, my first one is Odimodo featuring Tiwa Savage, Hundred Million. All right, copy that. I love that. That video is so clean, it and is what clean. Tiwa wore in that ugh, that white jumpsuit. <laughs> Hey. It was too hard. Uh uh, no, that, that video was hard. Yeah, it was like really it, like hard. It, like it was like so it. hard. Yeah, that was a good one. Well, so I'm gonna do. Uh, she's just the. She's she's an 18 year old girl. All right, mm -hmm. doing so well right now. She's out, King Muddy. Um, I love American love. Mm -hmm. It's it really it's really great American love. What are you gonna do here? Really great song. Go check it out. Check it out right now. That's what I'm gonna do as number two. Go ahead. And my next best video right now is Benson featuring Ruger or Ruger featuring Benson Poe. 
Cole by I love that one. I love that from the, the, the R&B the, body of work. Yeah, the body of work, and then you know the whole pilot. You know I'm a traveler at heart, so anything, so anything you do anything in, a, anything in the cockpit on a plane, call me, call me, call me, call All me. All right, um, yeah. I'm gonna do the video of my homeboy, uh, Dandizi. All mm. right, mm -hmm. he's a family member here. Yes, he so, is. So yeah, hold God is out on this body of work. What's the name of this body of work again? Ugly. Ugly, yes. You guys love yourself. That's the Period. full, that's the acronym. Yeah, you guys acronym. love yourself. Ugly is out. Go check it out as well. And for my last drum roll, please. <laughs> we have the one and only Fino Fino featuring Ooh. Bonaboy Boy on the Dwai remix. Dwai look like I give a uh, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Hard, hard. Hardcore. Hardcore. Hard videos. Hard video. Very uh, hard. Bird boy coming through for all them lyrics. Mm. Man, but a boy has always killed lyrics. So Honestly, come on. I, th remix. I think he, remixes, all right. he, he and David Doe do very well on remixes. Well, I think three of them. Whiskey does does. Well, does he really do yes, remixes? Yes, look at immediately. Immediately, there's that to turn up. No, he doesn't really. He's not an orphan. He doesn't do a lot of features. No, but of Whiskey doesn't he's do. not been doing. He's not been doing. Of late, he's not been really doing. Except is his song that he's featuring someone. But meanwhile, one of the biggest lyrics is coming, coming out jumping. very soon. All right, guys. is a wrap for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's it for our top five best music videos. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms on Instagram, it's official Hip TV on X and YouTube, it's at Hip TV. Remember that trying 324 on DSTV and 22 on Go TV as well. Training also airs at a 9 a.m. hour and of course at the 8 p.m. hour. My name is Pascal. And we'll come your way next time, make sure you do not forget to keep, keep it moving. moving.